It was approved by the governor because you can see that 95% of this event is outside. Setup is underway at the Kentucky Expo Center on Wednesday for the 51st annual Street Rod Nationals. This is our first major event in Louisville since late February when COVID came to uh, the world and COVID is still here. As the city's president of tourism, Karen Williams rolls out the welcome map for thousands of people from across the country. There are protocols in place to keep them safe. Face coverings are required for the inside and anytime social distancing is not able to be maintained. Chris Bronner, compliance officer of Kentucky Venues, says guests will notice increased signage placed throughout the grounds that encourage masks and social distancing. If you're walking around here and you don't trip on a sign, we haven't done enough then for you, so everywhere you turn, you'll see something. Last year's show brought in an economic impact of $18 million. Williams says this weekend is expected to bring in far less at $8 million, but she expects local business owners to feel it. The hotels, the restaurants, the gas stations, there's such a trickle-down effect for this event. With safe practices in place and anticipation for such a popular event, organizers expect it to be a successful weekend. I can only tell you that the numbers aren't going to be as strong as they were last year for our 50th anniversary, but the enthusiasm is going to be the same. Alex Durham, WLKY News. More than 5,000 vintage cars will be on display at Street Ride Nationals. The event is Thursday to Sunday at the Expo Center.